Have you ever wondered why AI companies like OpenEye, Google, and Anthropic are spending billions of dollars to train their next state-of-the-art models, yet we still don't have GPT-5, Claude 4, Opus, or Gemini 2? It's been almost two years, and we're still waiting for a model that is exponentially more capable than the original GPT-4. Now here's the biggest bombshell. Reuters just dropped an explosive report suggesting that AI companies, including OpenEye, are encountering unexpected roadblocks in developing larger language models. This is groundbreaking news because it challenges everything we thought we knew about the trajectory of AI development. Let me quote directly from the Reuters article because this is important. They report that, Artificial intelligence companies like OpenEye are seeking to overcome unexpected delays and challenges in the pursuit of ever bigger large language models by developing training techniques that use more human-like ways for algorithms to think. Now, why is this significant? Well, for the past few years, the entire AI industry has been operating on this principle that bigger is better. You know, just throw more data, more computing power at the problem, and you'll get better results. In fact, let me quote the article again. After the release of the viral chat GPT chatbot two years ago, technology companies, whose valuations have benefited greatly from the AI boom, have publicly maintained that scaling up current models through adding more data and computing power will consistently lead to improved AI models. But here's where it gets really interesting. The article reveals that researchers at major AI labs have been running into delays and disappointing outcomes in their race to beat GPT-4, which is now almost two years old. That's pretty shocking when you think about it. Let me break down the specific challenges they're facing, according to Reuters. First off, just training these massive models can cost tens of millions of dollars. Like, think about that for a second. And then there's the hardware it's failing more often because, well, when you push stuff to the limit, things break. They don't even know if these models will perform well until they've spent months training them. And to top it off, they're running out of high quality data to feed into these models, like literally scraping whole internet. And there is power shortages, which is not something you want when you're running these billion dollar operations. Now here's where this story gets really interesting. Ilya Sutskever, who's basically one of the godfathers of modern AI and co-founder of OpenEye, recently made some pretty dramatic statements to Reuters. Let me quote him directly because this is huge. The 2010s were the age of scaling, now we're back in the age of wonder and discovery once again. Everyone is looking for the next thing, Sutskever said. Scaling the right thing matters more now than ever. This is coming from the guy who was one of the earliest advocates for achieving AI advancement through massive scaling of data and computing power. The fact that he's now saying this is a massive deal. He's basically admitting that the approach that gave us ChatGPT might have reached its limits. There's a twist. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenEye, and other researchers are saying it's completely false that deep learning is nearing its limits. Sam Altman even tweeted, There is no wall. Below that, Jimmy Apple replied, Dash that wall. If Sam is saying there's no wall, I don't think he's just hyping people up for the upcoming GPT-5 model. Yes, the latest model from OpenEye, GPT-4.0, isn't an exponential improvement over the original GPT-4. However, we need to understand that the purpose of releasing GPT-4.0 isn't to replace GPT-4.5 or GPT-5. It's about introducing native multimodal capabilities that feel straight out of a Hollywood movie. This makes me inclined to trust what Sam is saying. On the other hand, someone else from OpenEye tweeted, Scaling has hit a wall, and that wall is 100% evil saturation. In response, another user, David, asked, What about Chale's arc evil? Sam replied. In your heart, do you believe we've solved that one or no? If you're unfamiliar with ARC, let me explain. Chalet's ARC is a benchmark designed to test AI systems' ability to generalize from limited examples and solve novel tasks. It measures the gap between human and machine intelligence by presenting grid-based tasks, requiring reasoning and abstraction skills. As of now, ARC is the only evaluation where large language models haven't achieved saturation. If Sam is hinting that they've solved this with their upcoming Orion model, it's a massive breakthrough. This could signify the dawn of the first true artificial general intelligence. Remember, AGI is a concept that doesn't even have a universally agreed upon definition. Yes, you heard that right companies like OpenEye, Google, and Anthropic are racing to build something they can't clearly define. That's both fascinating and terrifying. According to OpenEye, achieving AGI involves five levels, and we're currently at level two with the recently introduced O1 model. This model doesn't just provide answers blindly, it thinks, and the more it thinks, the more accurate it gets. That's a paradigm shift we haven't seen in any other models. What makes this breakthrough possible? It's something called test time compute. These companies aren't giving up. Instead, they're completely changing their approach. They're exploring something called test time compute. Let me explain what that means. According to the article, instead of immediately choosing a single answer, this new approach allows models to generate and evaluate multiple possibilities in real time, 
ultimately choosing the best path forward. It's actually more similar to how we humans think through problems. While pre-training may have hit its limits, this new paradigm test time scaling opens up entirely new possibilities. I believe this is why Sam and researchers like Noam Brown are so confident about their future models. This shift could have massive implications for the entire AI industry. The Reuters article points out that other major players like Anthropic, XAI, and Google DeepMind are all working on similar approaches. And here's an interesting quote from Kevin Weil, Chief Product Officer at OpenEye. We see a lot of low-hanging fruit that we can go pluck to make these models better very quickly. By the time people do catch up, we're going to try and be three more steps ahead. What we're witnessing isn't just a temporary slowdown in AI development, it's a pivotal moment of transformation. The industry is moving from brute force scaling to more sophisticated approaches that might actually bring us closer to true artificial intelligence. While companies are racing to build AGI without a clear definition of what that means, they're discovering that the path forward might not be about building bigger models, but building smarter ones. The next few years will likely reveal whether this new approach combining test time compute with more efficient training methods will unlock the next generation of AI capabilities. If you found this analysis helpful, make sure to subscribe for more in-depth AI coverage.